All right, so we are on 5.4 exponential and logarithmic equations. Um, let's take a look here and see what we got. Example one, I want to solve this, and I know some of you are like, well, okay, so maybe we need to make the bases the same, maybe we need to, oh, crap, how do you solve this, right? All right, so. Remember the little trick I told you when you have an exponential and you want to switch it to a log to solve? Since this is a 3 right here, I just do log base 3, log base 3 on both sides and get those to cancel out. So I just rewrite it into log form by doing log base 3 here. Boom, that side cancels out. Log base 3 over here and you get log base 3, 21. So you plug it in on your calculator by doing log 21 over log 3. And when you do that, um, you end up you can even uh, also do natural log of 21 over natural log of 3. Still give you the same answer. But either way, you get about 2.77 as your answer. Change of base formula. Big formula to remember um, is log u over log b. We went over that, though, very first thing because you need to know how to plug this in on your calculator. So you already know it. We just didn't call it the change of base formula, but you knew it back in 5.1. So that's called the change of base formula. A special change of base formula, um, we know that that's log u over log b, we went over that, but we also got to know that you could also do the natural log if you wanted to, the natural log of u over the natural log of b, it will give you the same answer, okay? So just want you to uh, know that as well. So example two is the same as one, but we're just going to use natural log to solve instead. It's just to show you that you could do um, a log with a little 3 and a log with a little 3 and you could do natural log of 21 over natural log of 3 and still get 2.77 as your answer. Example 3, approximate log uh, to log base 2, 5 using common logs and natural logs. Um, remember you'd write that as log 5 over log 2 or you could do natural log of 5 over natural log of 2. Either or are both going to give you about 2.322 as your answer. Example four. Oh, now what are you supposed to do here? Right, That's your curious question. How do you solve this? You can't solve this using the methods we've done prior because they do not have the same base. So I have to make them at the same base, except how do you make a five and a six look the same? That's another problem that we run into. So here's how you solve them. So watch what we do. All right, you see the equation? All right, you take whatever you have, you move that down in front. Take whatever you have, you move that down in front, and you put a log right behind it. And since there is no log, remember, that's like saying log base 10. So basically, you take whatever you have up top, you move that down in front is all that you're doing. So now you take log 5 and you multiply it through to both those. So um, no problem, except what I like to do is Let's, so we don't get decimals all over the place, let's at least get one of the logs. And I normally like to take the smaller log and just divide that out. The reason why I do that is now I have numbers that aren't fractions and weird decimals over here. This one will be. One of them is always going to be, sorry to tell you, but still not a problem. Um, now you can take that through to both terms. And when you do that, you get 1.113283x. And negative 2 times that will give you negative 2.22265655. So just like any other equation, it's just equations with decimals. That's all it is. So um, minus the crazy decimal x to combine your x's together to get 0.886717x plus 1. And that equals the negative 2.22265655. Minus 1 on both sides, and we get a negative 3.226565. Then just divide both sides by the crazy decimal, and you end up getting uh, about, and this is all approximate because you got to keep in mind we're getting crazy decimals all over the place, so I'm trying not to approximate as much as I can, but you get about negative 3.638435 as your answer. No, I will not make out with you. So, um, log root 3x equals the square root on the outside of log x. How do you solve this problem? Well, remember, the bases, if they aren't there, they're 10. So, 
we're going to change them as best as we can into the fractions. So there's the fractions, no problem. Um, now that we got the fractions there, um, the next step is, remember the rules, we can move that out in front. So that's one-third log x, if you remember the rules from before. Um, then we have this little half out here as well. So what I'm doing is I'm squaring both sides to get rid of that. So when I do that, boom, that's gone. So I have really, Let's hang. I have that to cancel out, and I can take that squared through to both. So I actually got a one-ninth log x squared equals log x, because that cancels out. Now watch what I'm doing here. I'm moving my logs onto the same side. Okay. The reason why I'm doing that is because now, uh, if you think about it, looking at it like this, you're going, uh, I, don't know, I don't know why, but this is actually a quadratic equation because there's a little 2 there. So really what I can do here is I could substitute that out. I'm going to make this, if you remember when we were doing those crazy substitution problems before, I'm just going to make this an A because a problem like this is easier for you to solve. This kind of problem, you look at it and go, ah, okay, I can factor an A out of both of them. So you factor an A out of both of them, and you're left with A equals 1 ninth A minus 1. So A equals 0, and 1 ninth A minus 1 equals 0. So you add 1 of both sides in this one, and then you multiply by 9 over 1. So you end up figuring out, oh, okay, A equals 0 and A equals 9. But it's not A we want, it's log of X. All systems go, Michael. So it's log x equals 0 and log x equals 9. So remember, it's base 10. So we're saying 10, when I rewrite this in exponential form, it's 10 to the 0 equals x, which anything to the 0 is 1. And this is 10 to the 9th. So 10 to the 9th is 100,000 million. So the answers are either 1 or 1 billion will make that work. And we'll try to finish up when you come back on 5.4 with solving some crazy uh, exponential and log problems.